The question that we're going to be looking at is one that is from Daman Hai from the year 2022. And in A part 1, we are looking at a summation that is with a sigma notation that starts from 0 all the way till n of x plus 3 to the power of r divided by 4 to the power of r plus 1. One thing to take note of about the expression that is within the sigma notation is that from term to term, r is the one that is changing starting from 0, then to 1, to 2, all the way until n, but x is the one that remains constant. So what I'm going to try do is, I'm going to try to break up the denominator into 4 to the power of r, multiply by 4 to the power of 1. And the reason why I'm doing so is because I recognize that the numerator is also an expression to the power of r, which means if I were to take out 1 over 4, since it's a constant, then within the sigma notation, I will have a x plus 3 to the power of r divided by 4 to the power of r, which I can then combine it together to become one single expression to the power of r. And for me, I can actually see that this is going to turn out to be a geometric progression. But just in case, just in case any one of you find that it is difficult to recognize that this is a geometric progression, it is fine. What we are going to try do is to just expand this sigma notation into its uh, plus 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 format because once we do that, and hopefully by looking at from term to term the pattern that exists, we can then deduce you know, whether there are any GP or whether there are any pattern that can help us to do the summation. So the first term is going to be when r is equal to 0, it will be x plus 3 over 4 to the power of 0. In fact, this is just 1. Then plus the next term, it is going to be x plus 3 over 4 to the power of 1. Then x plus 3 over 4 to the power of 2. So we are seeing a geometric progression, a GP over here with the first term as 1. And the common ratio is x plus 3 to the power of 4. Because from this term to this term, it is multiplied by x plus 3 to the power of 4. And then multiplied again by x plus 3 to the power of 4. Multiplied by x plus 3 to the power of 4 is going to be x plus... Sorry, not to the power of 4. x plus 3 over 4. x plus 3 over 4 to the power of 3. Which is going to be the next term. Okay, and all the way until the last term is going to be x plus 3 over 4 to the power of n. So we are seeing a geometric progression over here with the first term as 1 and the common ratio is x plus 3 over 4. The number of terms, we want to be careful, the number of terms is not n, the number of terms is n minus 0 plus 1. So n minus 0 plus 1, we will have a n plus 1 number of terms divided by 1 minus x plus 3 over 4, which is the common ratio. Let's do a simplification for this. So, if I were to multiply 4 in the denominator here to the denominator here, we will have a 1 minus x plus 3 over 4 to the power of n plus 1 divided by 4 minus away x plus 3. So, this is going to be 4 minus x plus 3, so we have a 1 <coughs> minus x in the denominator. So it is going to be 1 over 1 minus x in the denominator. And as for the numerator, it is going to be 1 minus x plus 3 over 4 to the power of n plus 1. So this is my expression. Let me just write it down here so that I can continue um, referring to this as I progress to part 2. This is going to be 1 over 1 minus x then multiply by 1 minus x plus 3 over 4 to the power of n plus 1. Let's take a look at part 2 of this question. In part 2, we are now given that x is equal to negative 5. So when x is equal to negative 5, let me write it down here. When x is equal to negative 5, that means the summation that we are looking at when I sum from r is equal to 0 to n of negative 5, but I'm going to just write it as x plus x plus 3 to the power of r. And the entire thing is going to be divided by, so this is going to be divided by 4 to the power of r plus 1. It is going to be equal to 1 over 1 minus minus 5 of 1 minus x is replaced by negative 5. So we have a negative 5 plus 
3 over 4 to the power of n plus 1. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 6 of 1 minus, this is minus half to the power of n plus 1. So the summation is going to be equal to this. We are supposed to give a reason why the sum to infinity is going to exist. The sum to infinity of this sigma of this sigma notation here. So um, when what we can see is um, that okay, when x is equal to negative five, when n goes to infinity, okay, when this n goes to infinity. If I were to look at this expression here, this is the only part of the expression that is going to be affected by n. So when n goes to infinity, if I were to discuss about this to the power of n plus 1, you actually tend to a finite value. It is equal to 0. So when n tends to infinity, this, which is the only expression, the only part of the expression that is affected by n, tends to a finite value. Therefore, the infinite series that the question is talking about the infinite series is going to be convergent. The infinite series of this, okay? The infinite series converges. And we are supposed to also determine the value of this infinite series. The infinite series is going to be summing from r is equal to 0 all the way until when n is replaced by infinity of x plus 3 to the power of r divided by 4 to the power of r plus 1 where x is negative 5, is when this becomes 0. So it will be 1 over 6 of 1 minus 0. So my answer here is just simply 1 over 6. Let's move on. Let's take a look at part B of this question. For part B of this question, we are supposed to find in part 1, the sum from r is equal to 6 all the way until 2k of r 3r minus 2. So the first thing that we should do is to expand this because that will give me r square which is uh, I have a result that is given to us by the question. So this is going to be sum from r is equal to 6 to 2r of 3r square which I'm going to use the result then minus 2r and this is equal to 3 times of the summation from r is equal to 6 to 2r of r square minus 2 times the summation from r is equal to 6 to 2r of r. As for this, we are going to break it up into two sigma notation according to what we have discussed in our theory outline on the Chivas TV. So this, I am going to rewrite it as summing from r starting from, according to what that is given to us by the question, is starting from 1 to n. So I'm going to start from 1 or so, all the way until n, I'm going to replace it by 2, oops, this is 2k. I've written it wrongly, not 2r, this is 2k. So 2k of r square minus away sum from r is equal to 1 all the way until 5 of r square. This is very logical if you were to just think of a, about the summation as adding term to term, term to term. So from 6 to 2k is what you want. So if I were to sum from the first term all the way until the 2k term minus away the first term all the way until the fifth term, I'm going to be left with the sixth term all the way until the 2k term. So this will represent this portion minus 2 times of this. This is fine because I can make use of the result that is given to me by the question. As for this, I'm going to just expand it so that I can see it from the you know, term by term point of view. So this is going to be 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus all the way until, um, this is k again. Why am I always writing this as r? So this is plus all the way until 2k. And what do we have here? We have here with us an arithmetic progression. So this here is an AP, an AP with the first term S, the first term is going to be equal to 6. The common difference is going to be equal to 1, and the number of terms, the number of terms is, the number of terms is 2k minus 6 plus 1 number of terms. So the number of terms is going to be 2k minus 5. Okay, now we can make use of the information that is given to us by the question. This, I'm going to replace with the formula that is given to me by the question, n over 6, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So this is going to be replaced by 2k over 6. Then after that, it is going to be 2k plus 1. Then 2 times n, which is going to be replaced by 2k, then plus 1. 
minus away n is now going to be replaced by 5, so we have a 5 over 6. Then, uh, then, then, then n plus 1, so it's going to be 5 plus 1. Then 2 times 5 plus 1. Okay, then minus away 2 times of this. I am going to make use of the sum of, I'm going to make use of the sum of arithmetic progression formula. So sum of AP is going to be the number of terms. Number of terms is going to be 2K minus 5 divided by 2. Then 2 times of the first term, which is going to be 6 here, plus the number of terms, number of terms is 2K minus 5 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. It is going to be this. Okay, so um, this is n minus 1. Just be a little bit careful because the number of terms is 2k minus 5. Okay, maybe I should put a bracket here. Let me just put a bracket here. So n minus 1, the number of terms minus 1. Let's simplify this. So we have a 6 divided by 6. It's just going to be k, then 2k plus 1. Then this will be a 4k plus 1. Minus away this, if you have to just calculate it using your calculator, it is going to be 165. Then minus away. 2 and 2 can be cancelled, we are going to be left with a 2k minus 5 here. Here, if you were to simplify and work it out, you're going to be getting a 2k plus 6. Uh, we can just do a bit of simplification, although it is not super, super necessary, but uh, if I were to just do that simplification and rearranging it a little bit, you know, by putting all the k's forward, this here is going to be minus away, if I were to factorize out 2, 2 of 2k minus 5, and this is going to be k plus 3, then minus 165. So this is for part 1. Let me write down my answer here again, because I'm going to be referring to this in part 2. So here we will have a k, 2k plus 1, and this is going to be 4k plus 1, minus 2 times of 2k minus 5, k plus 3 minus 165. Now we are ready. Let's move on to part 2 of this part of the question. So in part 2, we are now supposed to make use of this result to evaluate from R starting from 10 all the way until 66 of R minus 4 to R minus 14, which doesn't look like this at all. At least for now, it doesn't look like this. And I'm going to try to adopt this strategy that we have on our theory outline on Achievers TV, which is to replace R by R plus P. If you were to look at this, if I were to match this to this and this to this, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to replace all the R here by R plus 4 because R plus 4 minus 4 is going to get me back this. Okay, so we are going to use that strategy and, and in this case, customizing it for our scenario where we are going to be replacing R by R plus 4. So using that strategy, using the process that is in the theory outline, replacing r by r plus 4 will require us to minus away 4 from the number that is on top. As for this, it is going to be replacing r by r plus 4. And similarly for this, I'm going to replace this r by r plus 4. So minus 14. So this will be sum from this bring over to the other side. It's going to start from 6, which is nice because here starts from 6, 2. This is going to be 66 minus uh, 4. It is 62. 62, this is 62. Okay, let me, let me just write it down here. So this here, this here is equal to 62. And I'm going to rewrite this 62 as 2 times of 31. And the reason why I am doing so is because from the previous part, it is 2K. And the answer here is in terms of k. So I do want to know what is k. So I'm going to rewrite this 62 as 2 times of 31. Then this is going to be r. As for this, we will have a... Uh, we will have a... Did I write this wrongly? Oh, I write this wrong. I wrote, I wrote it, written this wrongly. This is going to be 3 here. So here is going to be 3. Okay, this is my mistake. So the question gave me 3, okay? So 3, we have a 3... R, then this is 12 minus 14 gives me negative 2. So we have negative 2 here. And now I have something that looks exactly the same as this. Which means that K is going to be replaced by 31. So let's do that. This is equal to K is going to be replaced by 31. Then multiply by 2 times of 31 plus 1. 
then 4 times of 31 plus 1, then minus 2 of 2 times of 31 minus 5, then we have a 31 plus 3, and this is like a really long calculation. So this, I'm going to then press this entire thing into the calculator. This is equal to 24008. Four. Mm -hmm.